wow, I feel like I'm applying like a styler or something. Hi cool friends, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Naturally Eve. And on this channel, I talk about natural hair, transitioning hair, health, wellness, and all things beauty. So today I'm back again with another product review. And today we're gonna be reviewing a line that I've been really, really, really trying to get my hands on, which is Curlsmith. So if you've been following me so far, you know that I went down to Florida. When did I go? It feels so long ago. <laughs> Went down to Florida sometime in December and I really wanted to try out products that we cannot get here in Canada. So in my last video, I tried out the Not Your Mother's line and I was very, very impressed. So, so far, the American products are doing the damn thing, okay? So Curlsmith is another one that I've been really, really excited to try. So many influencers, you know, have been talking about it for some time now. And so I really wanted to get the OG line, which is this orange line here, which, you know, they first came out with and, you know, it has raving reviews. So I'm super duper excited. So Curlsmith has a couple of different lines. The orange line is for like moisture hydration. So they call it the moisture recipe. They have a blue line, which is basically focused on the scalp. So there is a scalp clarifier, primer, um, and even the styling products are really focused on, you know, detoxing and, you know, scalp issues and things like that. So the line is really about having a healthy scalp. They have another line, which is the purple line, which is focused on hair reconstruction, repair, like if you have damaged hair, the purple line is more like protein focused. So I actually bought one product from the protein line, which is their Bond Curl Rehab Salve. So it's basically comparative to like the number three Olaplex. So really excited to try that. So I'm gonna have a separate video on that because I'm planning to straighten my hair really soon. It's winter here and you know, my hair is super healthy right now. I'm not transitioning or anything like that. So I'm already been on this journey almost two years. So I'm really excited to just like see how long my hair has gotten. And you know what? Like we have curly hair and it's so dynamic. And if we can't change it up, then like what's the point? You know what I mean? I feel more confident now like straightening my hair if I want to. But anyway, that's what the purple line is about. They also recently came out with the shine line, which is like fragrance free. The entire line has clean ingredients anyway, like sulfate, silicone, paraben free, like all the things. But the white line, it looks like it's focused on like fragrance free products. It has like everything that you need for a wash and go. Those are the different lines, but today we're gonna be reviewing this moisture recipe. Not the entire line, I just grabbed the deep conditioner because you know, we are always deep conditioning over here. And I also got like the, it's like a leave-in conditioner, they call it Hold Me Softly Style Balm. And then I also got the gel. Let's get into it. Starting with the deep conditioner. So I have freshly washed my hair. So I shampooed, what did I shampoo with? I shampooed with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil uh, Clarifying Shampoo. That's my go-to clarifying shampoo. It's so good. It doesn't leave your hair dry like most clarifying shampoos. So my scalp is feeling super clean, darling. And then I followed up with the Cantu Conditioner. I've been really loving that conditioner, actually. I'm like pleasantly surprised at Cantu. So my hair smells really nice from it too, so. That was a successful shampoo and conditioner. As per usual, divide up our hair. I'm just gonna mist my hair a little bit. I always wanna wet my hair before applying a deep conditioner. I feel like it just helps it um, penetrate better. The Curlsmith Moisture Recipe Double Cream Deep Quencher. A deep quencher, it's like, you thirsty? I'm a quencher thirst, bro. It's a deep conditioner for dry, dull hair, ultra moisture enhance revive. And like all of these like Curlsmith products, they have like, you no, know, not your, you know, regular generic names. Like none of them actually say like leave-in conditioner or like deep conditioner. It's like, you kind of just know it's a deep conditioner. Um, Like the name is like double cream deep quencher, but like, on the bottom, you know, it'll say deep conditioner, so you kind of know that it's a deep conditioner. You know what I mean? I like that it's like creative. Like they have very like unique looking names. And oh, oh, I like that the jar, I don't know if you can see, it has like some kind of embroidery. That's so cute. Uh, 
Love that extra touch. Star ingredients, mashed avocado, resurrection flour. Resurrection, what is that? I'm gonna look that up later. Aloe vera juice, apricot, kernel, rare andiroba, sunflower seeds. And it says zero spoons of sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, cruelty-free, vegan, all the things. Oh, so I don't need to look up what the resurrection flower is because it has it right on the jar. The resurrection flower can survive without any water for up to three years. These moisture retention qualities make it the perfect ingredients for a hair care products. Like this entire line is so innovative. Like, wow, like this is such a great first impression. How to feed your curls. After your regular shampoo, apply generously over the hair, focusing on the length and ends. For a quick moisture boost, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing. For a deep moisturizing treatment, that's what we want. Leave on for 30 minutes, then rinse. Let's get into it. It's got a little lid. I can't put my finger on what it smells like. It's not flowery and it's not very perfumey or anything like that. I'm feeling some apricot. Is there apricot in here? Oh, apricot kernel. Okay, that makes sense. Good job, nose. So it's super thick. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Yeah, the more I smell it, the more I smell the apricot. It's a really pleasant smell, but it's not too overbearing, which is also nice. Wow, do you? Okay, now, did you guys see that? My hair just like drank it all up. Oh wow, and I'm able to detangle too. Um, deep conditioner wear, it's drinking it all up. Hey Curl Smith, I see you, I see you. Okay, let's apply a little bit more. Always run my fingers through, even the deep conditioner, just to make sure every curl is saturated with the goodness. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, I feel like I'm applying like a styler or something because like, I can't even see the deep conditioner. Wow. One more scoop, one more, one more. Because I'm so used to like, and maybe this is like a bad mindset, but like, I'm so used to seeing deep conditioners like, see, white. That way I know it's drenched and I'm used to that. But maybe that's just like what I'm used to and isn't really necessary. I don't know. I'm gonna twist it up. Oh my god, whose dog? Oh, do you guys hear that? Whose dog has just been let out? Of course this would happen when I'm filming, like... Alright, this section is done, let's do this one! This is how you know you have low porosity hair. The bubbles are just right on top of my hair. You know, I thought when I went natural, like my porosity would change. I don't know why I thought that, but I guess like, cause my hair was damaged before. So you would have like my cuticles. Well, actually my cuticle should have been open if my hair was damaged and like had color and stuff. Cause the cuticle like expands. But I was like, hmm, maybe when I'm like fully, fully natural, then my hair will, you know, change porosity. I don't know why I thought that. Like a lot of, like porosity is genetic and like you can't really, like you can control it by damaging your hair, but not like it's genetic. So we know what genetic means, Eve, like. Oh, also should have told you guys, the jar is eight fluid ounces. So not a huge amount, not a huge jar. So I don't know how long this will last me, but not very long. I also alternate products, so it's not gonna be done anytime soon, but you know, if you're gonna invest your coin in this, just keep that in mind. You might need to, I don't know. And the products themselves are not the cheapest. Like Curl Smith is like a, they call themselves a gourmet hair care line, darling. So they're definitely not the cheapest. I'll put in the prices 
for the deep conditioner here um, and you can decide for yourself but let's see how they do because maybe it is worth your coin I don't know we shall see So I have drenched my hair, all sections are drenched in the double cream deep conditioner. Yeah, I know it's torn. I need to get a new one. So let's just tuck that away. Boom, I'm going to put on my heating cap. You guys have seen this. I will link it, link it down below. Pop this in the microwave. I'll probably keep this on for 30 minutes because we want the extra, extra moisture. And we're back. So I've washed off the deep conditioner. So here's how my hair is looking. So my hair definitely feels softer. It feels really like hydrated. So the smell definitely lingers. My hair smells like apricot, which I am not mad at. I love it when hair products actually linger in my hair, so I'm not mad at it. Definitely see some shine too, which is really, really nice. So far, so good on this deep conditioner. But now I'm going to style my hair. I think I'm gonna have a middle part today. All right, that's good enough. I'm not too fussy about like how straight it is. Yeah, I think that's good, right? I'm gonna divide up my hair as per usual. So hair is divided up. So now we are going to get into this leave-in conditioner. So it's called the Hold Me softly style balm it's a styling cream it's supposed to define bounce soft hold and elasticity so i guess that's what it claims to do give your hair elasticity give it a soft hold and they have a little hold scale here so as you can see this one is a one which means it's not supposed to give you any hold so it's definitely a soft hold cream ingredients we have again this apricot kernel so i'm assuming it's going to smell just like the deep conditioner we have some smashed avocado blended aloe squeezed olives rosemary oil rare andiroba i didn't know what andiroba was but they gonna tell me because it's at the back andiroba grows in the peruvian Andes. it falls into the amazon river traveling for hundreds of miles until it is eventually washed ashore and collected by indigenous people for its natural hair nourishing and stimulating properties okay so it has a little tube here i like when products have this type of like applicator bottle it's just so much easier to just squeeze it out all right so there's the texture yep smells like apricot as expected mm -hmm. if you don't like products lingering in your hair this may not be for you but then you can try out the uh, fragrance free line that they have. So in terms of the texture, it's also, you know, a little bit thicker, but not as thick as like a butter. So it's definitely more like lotiony between lotiony and creamy. All right, let's apply a little bit. It's going to take about that much. Yeah, my hair is definitely drinking up all these products. Like you can't even tell that I applied anything. So that's a good sign. My hair must be real thirsty. I'm gonna take my white tooth comb, make sure the product is evenly distributed. So I'm gonna just twist this up and then we're gonna come back and apply the gel. So I have the um, Hold Me 
Hold Me Softly Balm, AKA leave-in conditioner. So now we're ready to put in the gel. So this is the in-shower style fixer. Obviously I'm not in the shower and I normally don't like to apply products in the shower cause like, I don't have mirrors in there and like, I don't know, I just wanna be in a, like a place where I can see what I'm doing, but that might change, I don't know. It's the in-shower style fixer. It's a styling gel. So remember the scale, the hold scale? This is extreme hold. So I'm expecting this to really hold my curls. So I'm probably gonna have to be careful about how much I put in because I don't want it to be too, too crunchy where I don't have any movement in my hair. Ingredients, again, apricot kernel, black pepper oil. Interesting, never seen that in a product. Hopefully my hair doesn't smell like pepper. Aloe vera juice, wild sunflower, and mashed avocado. It says use on soaking wet hair. So I'm probably gonna have to reapply some, some water. Take a dime size amount for per hair section. Rub it between your palms first, smooth it down the length of the hair using the praying hands method. Scrunch gently upwards, then air dry or diffuse. So I'm gonna mist my hair. So I feel like I need to divide my hair even further for this gel because it does say to actually apply it section by section and I don't want my hair, my curls to clump too much. So I'm gonna divide it up into two. I think that's good. All right, so put this section away. It also has the same kind of applicator nozzle. Okay, dime size. That should be enough for that section. Yep, smells like apricot. In fact, this one smells even more like apricot. I don't know if it's because like now I know what it smells like, like these products or like it's just stronger, but you can definitely smell the apricot on this gel. So I'm just going to run it through my curls. Yeah, it definitely applies very nicely on the hair. I don't know if this is meant to like go over the Style Me Balm, but they seem to complement each other. But of course we will see once this all dries. And don't worry about the white product there. Most of the time that should um, go away once your hair dries, so. Not too worried about that. We're done with our first section. Here's how we're looking. So this section is done. So far, the curls are looking nice. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. So I have the leave-in conditioner and the gel in my hair now. Here's how we're looking on this side. Looks very promising. And this side, is it me or is this side already kind of getting drier? I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it feels like this side is already getting drier. So I, I'm getting the impression that these products, you need to apply them very, very fast before your hair like dries otherwise you have to keep reapplying but that might just be me i might be tripping 
Anyway, I'm gonna leave this on, just kind of do some editing, do some chores around the house, and then I'm gonna come back, depending on you know how dry it is, I might diffuse, and then we will see the results. And we're back. So my hair is partially dry. There are definitely some damp pieces. So here's how we're looking. I can say that the gel held up very nicely. Curls are definitely defined. I do feel a cast from the gel. So yeah, feeling very optimistic about this. I'm going to get my diffuser. You guys have seen this. It's not a Dyson, okay, but close enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse. So when I diffuse, I really just focus on my roots. So I really just go in uh, under my hair. I don't really focus on the length of my hair because a lot of it is already dry. Focusing on your roots basically gives you more volume. So that's really what I'm gonna be focusing on. All right, so my hair is fully diffused. It's all dry. Definitely feels super soft. So I'm actually going to separate the curls a little bit further and I usually like doing this using an oil and I'm gonna be using the Up North Naturals 8 Oil Blend. I love how this oil smells. It's super lightweight, 100% like natural ingredients. Mm, so good. So with the oil, I like to go to my roots just to further give me some more volume. I always like using an oil because it gives me some more shine, but also it doesn't compromise the curls. It minimizes frizz. All right, here's how we're looking. I am very satisfied with the results. I diffused a lot. And for the amount that I diffused, I would say there is some frizz, which I expect, but it's very minimal, which I really like. So let's give you a little close up. All right, guys, so these are my final results. What do you guys think? I love my curls. Um, I was a little bit scared about the gel because it was like extra hold. So I was worried that my hair wouldn't have any like movement. I was worried it would just be so stiff, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Like the curls are definitely defined, but they still have movement, which I love. In terms of the line, so I do think the entire line, you get what you pay for. Definitely my hair feels moisturized. Of course, it's called the moisture recipe. So they definitely did well on the moisture front. One thing that I would change is the deep conditioner. It's way too small. Like, it's way too small. This is not gonna last me. Like, it's, oh, it smells so good. It's way too small. I need them to get like make it a bigger size, but don't double the price, child. Would I repurchase? Maybe. If it was on sale and the shipping, I didn't have to pay the shipping, then I would repurchase. I just feel like they're very innovative for sure, very innovative products. I like the star ingredients, they're great, but they're a little pricey for me and they're not available, easily available in Canada. So I don't know, like I would repurchase, if they were on sale. If you've never tried this line, I definitely recommend that you try it at least once. It might be life-changing for you. You never know. So there you have it, folks. That's my review on the Curlsmith Moisture Recipe Styling slash Deep Conditioner line. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, and make sure you hit the bell notification so that you never miss another video from moi. And if you've tried this Curlsmith line, let me know what you think. And if you've tried any of the other lines, also let me know which, why do you like it? Share the knowledge. And if you would try or have been wanting to try the Curlsmith product, this is your green light to go ahead and try them. I think they're really great products. They're just a little bit pricey, okay? Until next time, keep it naturally. Mm -hmm.